Live in Western Oregon, you're watching KMTR News Source 16. And this is News Source at 530. Still happy and peaceful. I think it was great. It was really enlightening and um, just very positive. Inspired by a spiritual speech, Eugene welcomes the leader of the Buddhist monks and world-renowned religious icon, the Dalai Lama. Thank you for joining us tonight for News Source 16 at 530. I'm Matt Templeman. His Holiness spoke before a crowd of thousands today at Matthew Knight Arena, delivering a message of love, equality, and protecting the environment. News Source 16's Noah Helani Graf is live on the U of O campus with reaction to his speech. Noah? Hey. Well, Matt, Matthew Knight Arena has cleared out pretty well at this point, but at one point there were about 11,000 people here inside listening to the speech, but there were moments where you never would have known that. Pure silence as people just listened once the Dalai Lama started to impart his words of wisdom. During the Dalai Lama's speech, he sported a University of Oregon visor that was a gift to him from the school. The Dalai Lama kept coming back to the theme of unity and treating one another as equals. He said the key to peace and happiness is education, compassion, and a more global way of thinking. So please think more seriously about these things. All these things based on concept of oneness of humanity. One world, one humanity. His Holiness also had a few specific messages. He advised parents to spend more time with their children. He encouraged women to become more empowered. And he called on the next generation, those under 20, to use dialogue as a means to solving problems. It resonated with the audience. I feel so inspired kind of being a young person and having kind of the wisdom of what he was talking about and the oneness of humanity that I'm really happy to be able to talk to my friends about it. He thought that the next Dalai Lama could be a female and I thought that was great that he talked about that and being a mom I thought the, the stuff he talked about about mo mothers was really great. He presents serious subjects in a very light-hearted and realistic sort of way that we can just grasp. Now you right, might remember tickets to the speech sold in about four hours on the first day. So the U of O tried to help with more options to watch. About 20 people joined a screening of the live video feed at the student union. Five different TVs were showing the event. Back here at the arena as I walked around today, Matt, I found several groups of students that were brought here by their charter schools, which was a pretty neat thing to see people of that age group. There were several prayer groups. I also heard several adults use the word historic specifically. There was certainly a lot of good karma in the air today. I'm Nohelani Graf live at Matthew Knight Arena for News Source 16. Now back to you. All right, great job. Thank you very much, Nohe. Small handful of peaceful protesters were also outside Matthew Knight Arena with their own message as the crowds filtered inside. One of them, a Chinese exchange student, said he does not believe the Dalai Lama is as pure as he claims. He handed out flyers accusing the Dalai Lama of plotting a Tibetan riot in 2008 during the Beijing Olympics. Another two men were holding signs showing a Bible verse, John 14, 6. They say people showed up looking for spiritual guidance today, so they wanted to add to that.